Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, May 22nd already. Where is the time going? Anyway, I am on a recording binge today. So this is my second video of the day and I am over here at the intersection of North Street with Shabakto and Oxford. I just finished recording a video and just took a short little break had a snack because you know I needed my you know energy so the current temperature today is still 15 degrees 59 Fahrenheit and I'm gonna turn this around so you guys don't have to keep looking at me in my pippy long stocking braids so let's get up and move I have no idea where I'm going but I think I do want to go down Oxford Street. Some hostas. I think I might want to walk down to Oxford, maybe to Quinpool Road. How does that sound? I was just texting Kiddo. He just got home from work, so he's having something to eat. He's a working man, you know. Oh, go ahead. So I figured what I would do is just go down Oxford Street for a bit and then take a stroll down Quinpool Road. I may as well tell you my route where I'm going to be going. As you can tell, I don't have a map element if you're just joining my channel and you've seen in past videos that I've had a map element, I have switched over to a different editing software, which I like much better and I'm still figuring out how to do the maps. But everybody and their dog who has a walking channel does maps. Except for Halifax Walker, he doesn't do a map. But between the two of us, We've covered the city and it is a small city. We're not grandiose and huge like others. We do have a little under 500,000 in the city. My wrist strap got caught onto my bracelet. It is an overcast and foggy day here. It's kind of muggy, not gonna lie. I don't think Buddy realizes it's a sidewalk, not a side bike. And he was on the wrong side of the road to boot. I don't have a bicycle, but I do know the, <laughs> the rules of the road. I'm thinking about maybe asking kiddo's dad if I could borrow his bike sometime and just go on a biking trail I would not bike on the city streets Halifax drivers are asshats they don't like this sharing the road with bicycles considering that a lot more people are riding <laughs> riding bikes nowadays and more bike paths are coming into play. 
Ooh. Look at this pretty tree. Oh, I don't want to go up. See, I'm still learning. I'm back to being learning my camera all over again. Now Oxford Street goes from Bears Road in the north end. So all the way down to I want to say like South Street or maybe a little bit beyond South Street in the south end. It goes down past Dalhousie University. No, I don't want to do that. I have people that tell me that they like hearing <laughs> our traffic lights in the city. They are meant for hearing impaired and visually impaired people. They are look quite loud. Right now I'm at the corner of Oxford and Oak Street. This used to be a wine store, like a noble grape, I think. And now it's Osprey's Roost, butchery and provisions. So everything is locally sourced, I will assume. I do believe they are down at the farmer's market each weekend at the seaport. Future video, I do want to go to the um, farmer's market in a walk. Look at this. Proud Nova Scotian with her tartan around her vase. Her flower boxes. This is the weekend where I really noticed that spring has sprung. Two weeks ago, the trees were bare. The trees are now green. And there's two blue jays up in that tree. Is they pretty birds? God awful squ squawking. Some of the homes here on Oxford. Now this part here of Oxford to Quinpool is not really a whole lot, not very long. It is a busy street, but it's also a quiet street. Here comes the 24 Liebland Park bus. Must be a newer bus. I'm in the middle of the city. And what do I catch? A lobster trap. Pretty cool. It's 
So unfortunately, my niece, who was supposed to be out for the long weekend, um, couldn't make it. She was having some car issues where her car wouldn't turn over. She did have gas in the tank. but it just wouldn't turn over. So she doesn't know if it was just something to do with maybe she killed her battery. <laughs> or not. Here's the former Oxford Theatre. When Cineplex uh, sold it, the stipulations were that Whoever bought it was not allowed to turn it into an independent movie theater. So now it is rock wall climbing and they have yoga studios in there and everything else. So that's the part of Oxford Street we just walked on. We're gonna go down Quinpool. Dude is riding a souped up Subaru. Car behind him was a souped up Mazda. So here's an oxymoron for y'all. We got Fitness FX next to a McDonald's. I bet you that gym smells like burgers and fries or chicky nuggets, which is what I'm smelling right now. This is the, probably the old, or the only McDonald's in the city that has not been renovated or anything like that. And I'm not sure the, the reasoning why, but there is a gorgeous mural inside that McDonald's that takes up one of the whole walls. So this part of Quinpu Road, actually it's the city, this is where you're going to find our little version of a Koreatown. We have Pusan Korean Barbecue, the Okomart, there's K-Beauty next to Lee's Nails, there's also Song's Korean for, uh, restaurant. When I was on Oxford, I did get, go past the, uh, the Korean Baptist Church. Let's zoom out for a sec and look up. Way up. These are supposed to be affordable housing, I believe. Oh, nope, they're not. <laughs> I'm seeing the developer. Not affordable housing. Darn. Now, Quinpool Road is probably one of my favorite streets. They consider it uh, uptown. Uptown Halifax, not downtown. It also is a main artery between uh, going from the west end of the city 
into the downtown core. Okay, I got a walk signal. The street is known for having a lot of uh, mom and pop. There's my nails. Ooh. There's a lot of mom and pop shops here. Jewelry stores, bakeries. There's an Asian market down there. My friend Melanie, who has her hair studio, is just past the Asian market. She does a fine and lovely job on my hair. And I am in desperate need to go see her <laughs> because I need a trim. But Bevy, you were a hairstylist yourself. Why don't you cut your own hair? Good question. Here's the answer. I can't cut the back of my own hair. I can't put layers in the back of my own hair. I only have two arms. If I had like maybe two extra, three extra arms, then yes, I could. I can do the front, I can do the sides, but I can't do the back. Because I'd need a hand to hold on to a mirror so I can do it. There's looking down. I should have, while I was waiting for that light, pulled out my battery pack. Because I'm noticing I'm getting a little low on the juice. Now, do I have my cable in here? Oh my god, don't tell me I didn't... Oh, I got something. It's my double-ended one. Get your minds out of the gutter. Put my battery pack into my pocket. When yeah, I was down to like 18%. Not cool. Alright. Let's I'll hook my backpack onto my fingers. Sorry for the wibbly wobblies. I just have to zip up my backpack and sling it over my shoulder. All right, I'm gonna hold the battery, the external pad pack in one hand because the cord is quite short. All right, sorry about that. There's the naughty paw. If you like pet stores, that's where it is. It's in the former location of Pleasures and Treasures, which is a uh, sex store. Adult novelties, I should say. So Pleasures and Treasures moved over to where there used to be a carpet store. And there's my friend Melanie's hair salon. It's called Hair Inc. She does a fabulous job. Right beside her at Trinity Jewelers, they have, I think it's Wisteria? I don't know.
do, do, do. There. I did put it back in my pocket. My battery. Now I am going past um, I forget what this is called actually it's just where Canadian Tire is and the Superstore and the the NSLC which is our liquor store I can at least say that my pocket too, as fast as it drains the battery, it fills it back up pretty fast. I just went from, I forget what that percentage was, I'm already up to 27. Don't know what I did there, I hit the button by accident, but I saw that I did. So, across the street where this white building is, where Bomber Chicken is, way back in the 80s and early 90s <laughs> that was another adult novelty store called Sister Sarah's and we have the bath house Korean kitchen where you can get bibibap and bulgogi and probably a whole bunch of other yummy delicious things My new addiction with Korean food is tonkatsu and uh, kimchi fried rice with an egg on top. And normally I don't like runny eggs. The only time I'll eat runny eggs is over either ramen or spicy fried rice. Now I'm hoping to put this into one of my videos soon, is the sweet hereafter, if you're into uh, cheesecakes. But they are closed on Sundays and Mondays. And we have the Superstore. It will be open tomorrow on the holiday. The fog has come in, so it's a little misty. Oh, that's where the juice press went. They have really good juice. Freshly made right in front of you. Propeller move east the trail shop and down at the corner used to be a Starbucks not there anymore and it was like one of the fancy schmancy types of uh, Starbucks and this building here with the teal blue is the Dilly Dally cafe the street is my favorite, so I have no problems like telling you all about the uh, the wonderful places to go. Let's see. Off in the distance, we have the building on the left that has like the two darker gray end pieces with the white in the middle is the Atlantica Hotel. It used to be a Holiday Inn for the longest time. And then it got redone. And the uh, condos that are beside it, once we get past where the Halifax Wanderers uh, retail store is, is the St. George condos that just went up this year. And a little bit of last year, because I think I did show it in one of my videos when I walked up Roby Street.
and this little park area at one time used to be St. Patrick's High School but in the early 2000s it was uh, taken down when they built Citadel High because Citadel High amalgamated St. Patrick's High and Queen Elizabeth High into one. Hence, that is why Citadel High's mascot is a phoenix. If you all know the lore about a phoenix, how it rises from the ashes and is reborn. Now, St. Pat's was the Catholic high school at one time, and QEH was for everybody else who wasn't Catholic. <laughs> so they always had a rivalry. But as time went on, St. Pat's was just called St. Pat's after the, uh, the Catholic Church stopped running the church or running the school. Not that many Domino's pizza places in Halifax. There's one there next to the Cheeky Neighbor Diner, which when I was uh, pregnant with kiddo was Blockbuster. And that was where I would get my movies. Way before Netflix and Amazon Prime and Crave and HBO on demand. So this is the Atlantica Hotel. The facelift did it well. This rounded part here is a restaurant. And this is the notorious Willow Tree intersection. Oh, pardon me. I do believe a few years back they had proposed to put in a traffic circle here, but people said no. I'm all for it if it makes traffic flow at a better rate, but you know, Maritimers were creatures of habit. We don't like change. I struggle <laughs> with change. Okay, I got the walk sign. So now we are off Quinpool Road because it ends at Roby Street. So there's the Atlantica, and I think it is the St. George. It's something George. And there is Quinpool Road, where we just were. I think I'll walk down Roby Street for a bit till I get to Cunard. Or I might just cut through the commons halfway down. The proper pronunciation is canard. When I hear people on other channels or when they, like even history channels, when they start talking about the canard shopping, shipping lines, and they will pronounce it Q-nerd. No, no, and no. 
He is a Haligonian. He's from Halifax, born and raised, started his empire from here, and it is Canard. I'm going to rip the, uh, the Brits and the Aussies because if they want to call it Cunard, you got to remember these are the same people that call aluminum aluminium. Aluminum doesn't have that many syllables, but you know, I'm just ribbing you guys. If Estelle is watching or Falcom, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I still love you guys, faithful viewers. My glasses are fogging up. Uh, speaking of older buildings that could use a facelift, this is, let's go over here. This is the Wellsford. It was probably built in the late 60s, early 70s. It is in desperate need of having a good uh, facelift. She's showing her age. Unlike me, I'm young and beautiful. No, I'm not. I'm old. <laughs> and cute as a button. Wouldn't say beautiful. I would never use that to describe me. Cute as a button? Yes. That's my ego talking. There is a look at the Halifax Commons. I'm just checking my battery. I see some people playing cricket. Yeah, let's nix me Canard Street and just cut through the middle of the Commons. You can see the fog. I know that when I get back home, I will notice that the fog is going to be primarily over the uh, harbor. That's an eerie sight. If I can get up, like if there's ever a day where it's going to be like perfectly sunny and then you see this great big huge fog bank just hovering over just the water, that is the coolest sight to be held. <laughs> Now I do have my camera zoomed in all the way. Yeah, as far as it goes. I hate that it only goes two times the zoom. It sucks. But we know that when we get to the Halifax Commons, we're not too far from where I live. That's my phone. If you're hearing that clicking, it's hitting my battery. I got some cricket on the pitches. It looks like they're just having a practice because nobody's in uniform. I'm going to try to put this back in. And pull my phone away from it. Or I'll just hold on to my phone. <laughs> Over there is the Amara Oval. If you have your own equipment, you can go and use your scooter, your bike, your rollerblades, roller skates, but it's not quite open for rentals yet. I thought they would be this weekend. Now these clusters of trees here, I was here the day that they were um, planted. The two of them, the little pine trees. One was done by the former Premier of Nova Scotia, the Honourable John Buchanan. 
and the other one was planted jointly by the late Princess Diana and her then husband, Prince Charles, Duke of Cornwall. That was back in 1983. I would have been nine. And it was on a day like today, but colder. It's the fountain. It is behind a fence because it does have lights and wiring and stuff like that. So they don't want people playing in it or doing stuff like throwing dish soap into the fountain. Off in the distance is the Halifax Armories. It has finally had its facelift. That was a five-year project. We will see it when we get closer. I can just imagine this park yesterday being just filled with people just enjoying the sun. The commons are a place where everybody comes to do, eh, you'll see people doing yoga, Qigong, oh, acrobatics, cycling, tossing a ball. You might see some softball games going on. This is in the heart of the city. I'm sure that the Oval had uh, lots of people. I have water droplets <laughs> on my glasses from the mist, from the fog. And the dandelions are out. There's the armories. And it does look like it was made out of sandstone, which is not something you see around here these days or anymore. As it's two uh, turrets. think I'm going to end my video here at the commons. Let's, ooh, I did this before in my last video. Look, I'm all sweaty and misty, misty eyed. There we go. There's my Pippi Longstocking blurry Brit. See, they're kind of damp. Anyway, my lovelies. I do want to thank you for joining me today on this walk 
If you're new here, I try to put out more content now that I have better editing um, on the channel. I'm going to be tweaking things up. So by the time you see this, anybody who is a channel member or a Patreon has already had access to this video. I know I'm doing things a little different. Instead of doing a 30 day window with members and Patreons, they will get it first as a sneak preview. Um, I do have, I did change up my Patreon um, levels. I do have Insider, VIP, and Elite. I, it was better than just doing the street names. My, I'm holding on to the battery and the wire is really short and I had an itch by my nose there. Anyway, I do want to thank my Patreons and channel members for my sticking around um, through my little hiatus. You guys were awesome. Um, you guys helped out a lot because a lot of your support did help out with the channel. Even though I may not have been putting out content, I was getting new SD cards because I did lose my SD card. You know, they're tiny, tiny, tiny little things. And I have um, some stuff that I had ordered that I'm still waiting for to get in that go like for my lav mic and I'd like to get another lav mic or a wireless mic to have in case I do ha decide to have guests on the show so thank you so much I do want to thank out uh, give a shout out to my elite level of patreons that's Ozzy Johnson and Michelle Gray Yogi and Cody so thank you so much you guys for supporting me and believing in me even though I wasn't around as much yes you can rib me about that um, but hopefully I can get back out and do a lot more if you're new to my channel I do have links down below for my patreon if you want to join that I also have channel memberships available you'll see that on the main channel or just down below the um, the video you'll see where it says join if you want to do that but if you don't want to join the channel or patreon that's perfectly fine i'm not forcing you i also have links to my paypal for any type of a, a donation that you want to put towards the channel is greatly appreciated but other than that um i am ending the video i am starting to get a little hungry um my battery is now at 52 percent so it's coming back up this is my yes I decorate it my external battery pack because it was a two pack and I didn't want to get mine confused with Mark's because I gave him the second one so I put pretty little flowers on it with rose gold if you know me I like purple and I like rose gold and I'm rambling so my lovelies thank you for coming along with me on this walk I am not too far from where I live so I'm gonna head home get something to eat and get some editing done. My nose is itchy right here on the side. I don't know why. And I got hair in my eyes. <laughs> like I said, I ramble. Anyway, I love you. Thank you for coming along with me. And I am so glad to be back out getting content for all of you. All right. Bye.